Hello and welcome to this FBF live stream. My name is John. I am founder of Lights Lightsaber and Tech Ninja, and I am joined by Michael. Hello. Of Tiny Night Films. Yes, all the films, all the tiny nights. And we are going to go on an adventure. I'm nervous. Hopefully. Excited. Ow! I hit myself with my lift. When do we start a death counter? Like, how how many times do we're going to die? Uh, I I think we start a death counter round about now. <laughs> um, I think we're optimistic to say that we're going to get through this with fewer than five between us. Five between us. Okay. All right. I bet you. What What's the most expensive thing I have in my refiner system? <laughs> Oh, you just teleported to me. Hello. Hello. Oh, I've got um tier four. I've got the next. I've got whatever quadruples your ore processing. Oh yes. Down here. I've Two, gone three. completely away. There's not stairs. Where are you? Aha. That's because it is a secret passage. Yeah. Okay. Yes, you could do that too. <laughs> but yes. You can use salt from Pam's harvest craft instead of uh, getting brine. So what do you do? You just... I've, I've got oxygen for the purification chamber, as normal. But with this one, you can just auto-craft Pam's salt, which is a bucket and water. And just put that in... Yup. And it counts as hydrogen chloride. Not I'm, a lot. I'm fairly certain that salt is not hydrogen chloride, but fair it's play so to mechanism. But yes, so that's currently how I'm doing it. It's it's the thing that slows it down massively currently. So do you still but, think that brine would be better? Or? Uh, I think what I need is a better way of making my salt so that I'm because, uh, what I think I might, I might do is have either a crafter from RF Tools or have a storage drawer here because the issue is it's only ever trying it's to craft one, one salt. Right. Yes, the thing is I can't get it to craft more than one salt, but if I had a, a few things crafting salt, it might go a bit faster. If you had like a massive stock of salt on hand. Exactly, which I'm thinking if I cr uh, have a crafter making it continuously, I'll have always got yes. four stacks. But I might have two or three crafters doing it because it takes about a stack per item. You could have it outputting into a storage drawer, then that would have lots of stacks. That is true. I, it's something I'm going to continue playing with. But right now, it, it's it's chugging along. I've chunk loaded the area, so I've, my power problem should stop. I started having an issue where um, whenever I'd log on, I'd have no power. Right. And because I'm using culinary generators, I also had no way of getting power because I couldn't get couldn't food out of the food. Exactly. So I it, it made this little thing. Um, you won't be able to tell what it does, but this is a self-resetting lever from uh, Ender.io. Right. And what, when I flip that, this is set up so it fills up all of my uh, generators and then fills up this uh, single stack of toast. The lever takes that stack of toast and distributes it throughout the um, calorie generators. So you've always got at least that stack. Yes, so if I log on, I can just flip the switch and it would empty it. But obviously and then 10 seconds later. All these I'm waiting for that switch to reset. There it is. Yes, I've got my incredible culinary generator set up, which I, I love. Turns wheat into flour, flour into bread, bread into toast. And because of the redstone furnaces, we have the uh, trivection chamber, it doubles it. So I get eight toast per wheat. Yes, something uh, Jeff was confused by. Yes, I'm currently uh, working. I'm going to start making some water mills soon so I can get some more GP, so I can uh, put some speed upgrades into these things. So ah, that's yes. My, this is my current bottleneck of power. When I run my ender generator, it, it tanks my power almost entirely. Speaking of uh, my generators, uh, just uh, let's hogwarts this and run at that wall. 
Ah. Welcome. I'm to liking. The land. I'm. I'm liking the uh, marble finish. Yes. So obviously, I've got wheat farm, and this is the ender, uh, the uh, enderman spawner. Cool. What's killing them back there? Uh, it is a mechanical user with a stone sword in it. Ah. Which drops XP and loot. So I've got an XP back on the floor there, and also a ranged collector. Have you thought of using something more... Enderman killy? Uh, yes, but the thing is, it's got that's got a durability, doesn't it? True. Or runs True. on runs on power. So I wanted something that I could just replace every time it broke, and stone I have infinitely producing. I don't have infinitely producing... Um, you, d you didn't need to teleport. It's literally, you could have just walked through it. Yeah, but teleporting's fun. I have a cobble works here. So I've got infinitely producing cobblestone, gravel, and sand, and a stack of stone, silicon, and glass. I, that is one of the things that I'm going to expand my uh, sub basement. I'm just going to have a, a cobble works running. I always think it's a good idea to have a cobble works. I always think that the three resources, you, the resource you have the most, should have the most of is cobblestone. I've never thought why, I've just always thought it. I've I've rarely actually built a cobble gen like system. I saw um, I don't know how many other Minecraft f uh, players you follow, but uh, not many. I'll be honest. There's a guy named Soren. I, I am familiar with Soren, though I've not watched his stuff directly. I watched Direwolf. Yes, so. I watched Direwolf, and he introduced me through to Soren, and Soren made. A cobble gen that just made all of the stuff that you can make from cobble, and I was like, "Huh, I want to do that," and so yeah, I, I did that, and now I kind of want to do that again because I think I can do some interesting, like, I like the idea of just having something that runs and produces cobble, and then everything you can make from cobble, and just having a lot of it on hand. I assume you mean just cobble, not like cobble and wood, for instance. No, I mean, I might... I I did just put wood on my farm briefly and got three stacks of it in a night. Yeah, so you, get, you get quite a bit. You get quite a bit of wood quite quickly. I might just, like, throw some wood in and I might, when I've got more Enderman and Ender farming stations... Is, um, your, um, is your area chunk-loaded then, so you can just leave it on? And yeah, yeah. I basically yeah. chunk loaded the whole base because I was having. I had a very similar problem to you with power, except mm -hmm. I couldn't backlog it as easily as you've got ah. your thing. Because I had a problem where my pipes emptied. Oh yes, because you're on. Um, you're using uh, oil. Yes, all my co all of my canola oil just vanished. Yes. Randomly, when I went to a different dimension, and so I think there was a so chunk loading error. I tried to do something recently. I tried to build a quarry. Uh, is what similar to what we're doing today. Yes. Um, it kind of tore up the back end of my house, which is why there's dirt here. <laughs> I was wondering about that. Yeah. Turns out those shape cards can be awfully finicky if you're not careful. I've not actually played with the builder yet. Well, we have the resources to make another one, so we will be doing that. We'll also need uh, dimensional transceivers. Yes. But we, before we do any of that, we want to get a port of the deep dark and flight. Now, with wait, the wait, port... wait. portal to the oh. deep dark, I get. Where, where have you gone? I, I've just popped home real quick. Oh, okay. Because uh, I had the feeling that I may have made a portal to the deep dark. Okay, well, that makes life easier, doesn't it? No, I haven't made a portal to the deep dark. Did I make all the stuff? I made all the stuff to make a portal to the deep dark. Well, that's that's less that less than useful, I'll be honest. So I've got I, I've now made the portal to the deep dark. Oh, okay, well, yay! Yay! We did it. Job one's a success. Go team. Uh, so let me. I think what we should do is this should probably be on like the pirate ship. Well, so that way everyone can have access to it. So it's kind of yeah, it, it, it's the hub. That's your tower. The pirate ship is that one. Yes, that good. That tower is very nice. 
very happy with it. Uh, uh, so let's see, back here maybe? Yeah, this looks good. Oh, that's just water. How much gunpowder do I have? Okay, so yeah, it's in this back room of the pirate ship. Oh, There's a portal to the deep darkness inside this pirate ship. That's exciting. A uh, nighter. Do I have any nighter? Probably not. Flint in a crusher. Let's do that. Sorry, you. I'm not streaming, so you have no idea what I'm doing. I have no I'm, idea what you're doing, and I'm heading back. I'm other than mumbling incoherently. Basically, I just need a lot of gunpowder for, for, for quick reasons. For, for reasons. Do you happen to have any? Is my follow-up question. Uh, not on me. I'm sure I probably have some at home. How much do you need? Uh, two stacks. Well, I'm, I'm sure I can stretch to that. While I'm here, though, I'm gonna grab my golden lasso and also make a second one. And realise yes. that I should probably grab my XP. Ah, yes, I've also got XP storage. I love it. So yeah, much. I when I had my I've been meaning to make one. In the Nether, when I had my adventure in the Nether, I regretted not having one because I died a, a rather a large amount of times and lost like fifty levels of XP. Yeah, that sort of thing kept happening to me. So I finally got round. I, what have you gone with for yours? What is your uh, XP got storage? Ender IO, pure and simple. Yeah, XP me too. Um, I might make a sort of shower system for it at some point because uh, and have it. I, what I'll do is I'll link it up to my Enderman spawner so that the XP they drop gets fed directly into my XP pool, as it were. Cool. I don't quite have two stacks. That's fine. I, I, I have. Don't quite have one stack. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I, as much as I have thirteen, here you go. Uh, that's that's almost exactly the same amount as I had. I had fourteen. <laughs> well, we've not got right. much. I know. I I just what I'll do is I'll steal my crusher from my ore processor downstairs and just make a bunch. Crusher, 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 crusher. I really am getting annoyed at um. Whaler could do with yeah, Whaler. Or is it? Do we have J? Yeah, we have Whaler, don't we? Yes. Yeah, yeah Whaler. Whaler. I don't know if it's a bug in Whaler or if it's a bug in Mechanism or both, but well, Mechanism seems to be causing a lot of our problems because Mechanism is also the mod that won't let us uh, or dictionary things and refine storage. Oh god, this is going to take forever. Okay. Well. Okay, I've got a thing that can help you with that. Oh good, is it speed upgrades? Or... It is. I don't have any of those, so... I'll borrow some from my system. Excellent, You can. I will make sure I get them back to you. Uh, not that one. Actually, how hard are they? Oh, no, I don't have any mechanism automated, so yes, it'll be difficult and annoying. Uh, this is what I want. No, I've done that bit. Did I do that bit? No, they very handily come in stacks of eight. Eight is the most That's, you can put um, into a machine. That's like as you'd want, isn't it? Eight is the most you can put into a machine, and they can't. They stack to eight. Oh, that's useful. Um, I'll tell you what. While you're here, if we're going to be going on an adventure together, I'm going to do something. So, I'll just throw that in there, and that means it comes faster. I've been. I think I've invited you to my team. I will check as soon as I also put... To make sure that your energy doesn't get horrendously chewed up, I'm also going to install some energy upgrades. That's fair. Uh, yeah, no, I'm currently, at, I'm currently losing 600 RF a tick. This does mean that the thing stores more energy, but it is also more efficient at using it. Okay, I've, I've not really played with... Where's... Mechanisms upgrades anyway. It's that little upwards that, arrow that says upgrades. That says upgrades. It's it's fairly straightforward. Uh, so I've got eight at the bottom, oh. you can see the supported upgrades for each machine. Yes. 
so this supports energy upgrades, speed upgrades, and muffling upgrades, which stop it from making that loud clangy noise. Which I can't hear right now. Did you put some in? No, I didn't. Maybe it's just going too fast. To Aha! Stack of that. Let's get another stack of this. Uh, but I basically, you'll notice it. that with the eight upgrades, it's ten times faster and stores ten times as much energy, but also is more energy efficient. Splendid. So did you uh, say you've got drops of evil? Yes, I do. They are in my refined storage system. Which I don't know if you can access or not as my... Let's find out. I can. So does that mean I am in your team? Yes, I think so. I can't edit me, apparently. Well, I've, I've set you to ally. Try now. Team's gooey. No, I'm on my team. That's a good. Maybe you can't. Maybe it's just up to the other people to set a team, and it, you don't have any say in it whatsoever. Yeah, maybe. Right, I've nabbed a drop of evil from yourself. You're most welcome to it. What's this pressure plate for? Is this a? It's my actually additions. Um... Oh, there's your atomic reconstructor. Yes, that's. Oh. The... His name I forgot. Oh, I need more creosote. Hurry up and to burn. So I'm going to curse this lasso. Wonderful. And then now, we need to go find a bat. Handily, there's a bunch. I have a rather expansive mine. Good point. Kaza do. I can yes. hear one already. Oh, I believe he's in my. Yes, there is a bat actually near my lab. Got one a bit higher. Let's see, do they come up on journey map? That's the question. Because you can set journey map to show you I pictures of mobs. Yeah, I, I don't see bats. I don't yeah, know if you see I. bats. But I believe he's do he's in the cave system that's pretty much directly beneath my uh, lab. I can uh, hear a bat. Let's knock down a wall here and see what happens. It's just yeah, bat. I don't feel I'm getting any closer, if I'm honest. <laughs> no. I'm going to head down to Kaza Doom level and see if... Uh... Okay. I'm going to just wish I had torches, because now monsters are going to spawn here. I kind of wish we had um, anything that tracked where sound was coming from. <laughs> I think that's any mod ever, to be honest. I think you're just wishful thinking at this point. There was a mod that made uh, sonar goggles that allowed you to see where sound generators were generating. See, I, I feel bad because annoyingly I've killed a lot of bats recently. Well, that's the thing is um, actually additions adds one where you can kill a bat and take its wings. Mm -hmm. And with six bat wings and uh, ender... Um, I think it's an Ender Star or a Nether, like the actually editions star. Nether Star. Right. Like they made their own Nether Star that's not just a Nether Star, but also um, requires like black quartz and a couple of other end game thingamajigs. Because why just have a Nether Star when you're going to have an Uber Nether Star? Well, yes, I've got. I, I'm going to be. I have plans for Nether Stars, which should be fun. Right, I need this. Yeah, that. 